These are the 13 motorcycle brands ranked from worst to best in accordance with how many recalls that have occurred from 2016 through October 2021, almost six years. Stay tuned. Meerkat. This information comes from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the NHTSA. This is an American government agency responsible for enforcing vehicle performance standards to reduce death, injuries, and economic losses from motor vehicle accidents. This is U.S. data and may or may not apply to where you live. Recalls of motorcycles can be done either by the manufacturers or the NHTSA via consumer complaints. The NHTSA review complaints and investigate and notify manufacturers of defects. They then monitor the effectiveness and management of those recalls. The manufacturers have 60 days to notify owners of recalls via mail. For example, in part two video, I will dig down deeper to put some of the raw real numbers into context. For example, a manufacturer may have 20 recalls, but 14 of the 20 for the same issue, but it affects 14 different models. So that's 14 recalls. Another example, another manufacturer may have 15 recalls, but 12 of the 15 are for different issues on different models. So which is worse? I guess it depends on your perspective. Some people will view recalls as a positive because it indicates their problem was discovered. That's true. I think you will see that many of the recalls are significant in terms of safety and reliability. For example, a fuel leak in, uh, due to a tank abrasion is pretty significant. Or something less significant may be a reflector visibility is blocked. However, this is only uh, part of the reliability, uh, the recalls. It doesn't take into account other non-warranty and warranty items that may occur. The number of recalls can be affected by the number of motorcycle sales and the models using similar part numbers. However, in this video, we're only looking to models recalled. A recalled number may cover several models in this video, we're counting it on every model it is used on. Here we go, worst to first. This hurts me as a BMW owner to show this. You can see in 2018, they had a lot of complaints. In 2020, they had a lot of recalls. In 2021, all the brands um, went way down as mid-October on the recalls and complaints. Some brands like BMW, Triumph, and Harley suffer because they use very similar motors and components across all models. I will point, try to point this out in part two. Number 12 is Ducati. Uh, as you can see, Ducati hit a high point in recalls in 2018. Since then, they have been steadily decreasing both in terms of recalls and customer complaints. So they're on the right track. At number 11, we have Harley Davidson. Well, they had a lot of customer complaints. In fact, they lead the league in customer complaints overall during this five, almost six year period of time. Although they do appear to be going in the right direction. At number 10, we have Indian. I was a little surprised to see Indian um, this far back in the ratings. Although it appeared like a lot of the manufacturers had a very tough 2018. In part two, we'll dig a little deeper into Indian and see what we find out there. Triumph is number nine, and they didn't have as much significant drop off on recalls as some of the other manufacturers. Uh, Triumph is, has the same problem that Harley and BMW has. They use a lot of the same parts and motors in different models. In part two, we'll dig in and see if we have some carryover model year on the uh, recalls. It may be that they're not fixing recalls and it carries over to the next year. Well, we got Yamaha at number eight, and it's a little bit worse than I thought they'd be. In part two, I think we'll have to look into, a, we'll see a few of their models over several years are responsible for most of these recalls. Okay, number seven, we have Honda. And surprisingly, uh, 2020 was a really bad year for Honda as far as recalls. And Honda was really on the one that was really bad for 2021. I think the bar set pretty high. If you look at the complaints uh, for Honda, the, the owners are 
really one of the few ones that where the complaints are consistently higher than the number of recalls. At number six we have Kawasaki. Kawasaki complaints are pretty sparse considering the number of motorcycles they sell. Uh, the recalls are also pretty steady so it seems like everybody's pretty happy with Kawasaki. Well there is in the fifth place actually there's a three-way tie for 25 uh, recalls for for that so we're gonna have a 3C here and it's KTM only because they have uh, they're behind because of a high number of complaints. Okay, bringing up 3B would be a, a Prilia. They have also have 25 recalls, but they only have four complaints. So they're tied for third. The real third place has to go to Suzuki with only 25 recalls with all the motorcycles they sell. I mean, that's almost half of Honda and Kawasaki's in terms of recall. And I know make, they make the same models over and over again. Maybe that's part of it. We'll have to see when we look into their complaints. I think the real shockers is number two and is Moto Guzzi and number one. Uh, I'm just really surprised that they are uh, did as well as far in terms of recall and complaints. I know they don't sell a lot of motorcycles, but still, yeah, that's pretty good. I know this was a shocker to me, number one being Royal Enfield. But with only six recalls and six complaints over almost six years, they deserve that spot. I own Royal Enfield, which is the first place. I own a BMW, which is in the last place. And I own a Triumph, which is right down the middle. Okay, to put a little bow on this, we can put all of them together on this slide so you can see how they do in comparison with each other. I know the recalls and complaints aren't everything uh, in terms of reliability, but it is something. So we're going to look into the, in part two, some of the details of some these recalls and what they're all about, whether they're major or minor recalls. And stay tuned for part two to see that. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.